Hi there everyone. Now in this video I'm going to specifically show you something. Those of you, my brothers and sisters who are involved in the curry business. Now I'm not trying to flog this channel of mine. This is not a video about this channel. As you can see, it's 15,000 subscribers here. So I am not trying to flog you the channel so you can go and subscribe. You know, I don't really care whether you subscribe or you don't subscribe. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you do, you'll be fantastic. If you don't, it doesn't even bother me. But some of these information I'm going to share with you in this video will actually be helpful if you're running a restaurant, a curry house. So watch, watch all of it. It's very, very interesting facts. I'm going to give it to you. Now, these are not my facts. These are opinion from my subscribers and these are the channel is based mainly on British Indian restaurant cooking okay I used to be in that trade for over 20 almost 25 years of my life okay few years ago means at least now seven seven years or so ago I decided to hand you over the key to the landlord and walk away okay but we're not gonna go into that okay I just want something change change of a career right so how often if you are running a restaurant an Indian restaurant or Bangladeshi restaurant they're all the same you know Indian we know that so I don't need to lecture you about the name of the restaurant and things like it's okay but how often do you actually take a survey of your customer or put a put a little spend a bit of money and think about where is this curry industry is going we've seen a lot of program on you know things like Channel S and they have a curry business curry sort of program restaurant based program this but nobody actually is asking the person on the street for some some facts and figures I mean taking the survey for example I haven't yet come across Channel has done a, a survey asking people the customers the people who go and eat inside the restaurant what do they think about the industry rather than talking about you know all the Bengalis get together in a program and they talk about all the Siloti get together and they talk about sometimes useless nonsense you have to talk to about the reality and it's no good just blaming decline decline shortage of staff this staff that right let me cut the chase and let's get to the point so i put a survey on my channel and I, I would like to share the result with you okay let's go and do it so if we go to community right and these are the question i ask specifically to my audience okay and these are the results may shock you some of these results the first one i ask is this now 18 votes okay this I'm recording this video 1st August 2019 so it's one month ago so July is the first somewhere in July the first okay so 18 vote which type of cuisine is trendy at the moment okay 39 people voted 39 percent voted Indian okay Chinese nobody voted it look Surprising, isn't it? 
Turkish, look at this. 33% of people voted Turkish. Look, Turkish. 22% voted Tahi and 6% voted Lebanese. Can you see the trend? Look, look, look closely at Turkish. Look at the way they're catching up to the Bangladeshi trade. Look, look at the way they're catching up. What does that suggest to you? It suggests they will take over soon. Only 6% difference, okay? Next question. Why is Indian restaurant in decline? 20 votes. Too many? 30% voted too many. Okay. 20% voted Indian food no longer seen as trendy. There we are. 15% voted cheaper alternative. Fast food like takeaways, things like that. Okay. Not keeping up with the time, not changing means you're not adapting. The cuisine is not adapting to present time or the situation. 25% voted for that. Okay. So as you can see, other cuisine getting the market. Look, other cuisine getting the market is 10%. Right. So it shows you too many 30%. Look how closely it's not seen as trendy, 20%. And look at this. Not keeping up with the times. Means there's still our industry still in a dinosaur era. They're back to, still hanging on to the 80s and the 90s. 90s and 70s. 25% my brothers and sisters. Look at this. Okay, let's go to the next question. Now we're moving on. So those two questions should have uh, provoked a thought. It should ring alarm. Alarm bell should be ringing right now. Right. What is your favorite starter? 17 people voted. Onion bhaji, 12%. Chicken tikka, 35%. Look at this. Sheik kebab, 29%. Shami kebab, 12%. Power hour dips only 12%. Right. So it shows a lot of people are skipping starters. Look. Right. They are skipping it basically. If they 12% of start eating Papa Down dips, obviously they're not going to eat starters, are they? they? Their belly will be full up just with the dips and Papa Down dips. So, what suggestion can you gather from there? Stop selling papadums. Don't give them if they don't ask for it. Don't push them to get every restaurant you can go to whenever they see a customer. The first thing they will say, would you like some drink please? Or would you, some, would you like some papadum and drinks? That's the question. The waiters is like you sort of drain it into that damn head. Any customer come in, good evening. How are you? How many, and the next question is, how many papadums, and there you go. Get them down there, sit them down there, don't give them too much bloody papadum. That way, they will have at least a starter, so you can sell your chicken tikka or shikha kebab, whatever you. Look, onion bhaji is surprising, that's supposed to be one of the, uh, the biggest selling dish. But unfortunately, it's dying of death, look, 12%. Right, this is the shocking one here. Are you aware that over 99% of Indian restaurants in the UK are actually owned by Bangladeshis? Bangladeshi. Look at that response, my brothers and sisters. Yes, 89% of people they know that Indian restaurant in the UK is mainly owned by the Bangladeshis. Okay, Silatis. So why on earth we, this is 2019, why on earth we are still using Indian name? Why on earth this day and age we still using Indian name? 
89% says they know it's owned by the Bangladeshis. If they know it's owned by the Bangladeshis, go and start putting your damn rest to a name, Bangladeshi name on it. Because they know already. No, surprisingly, is 5%. Don't know, look. Of course they know. Nobody said don't know. Surprising, look. 5% was surprised. 5% of people, they are surprised. It's owned by the Bangladeshis. 89% of people says, yes, they knew it. So stop changing the Indian name. Put Bangladeshi. If you don't know it, if you are looking for a advice on how to figure out a name, just drop me a comment button on the comment and I'll give you some new names. You don't have to pay me a royalty. <laughs> right, let's go to the next question. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right. Now it says, how often do you go to your local Indian Bangladeshi restaurant to eat? Nine voted, okay? Nine people voted. There we are. Once a week, 78% of people out of nine votes says once a week. Okay? Twice a week, 11%. Three times a week, nobody. No vote. Look, once a week, 78 percent twice a week 11 percent three times a week no burden but four times a week 11 percent of people out of nine votes said they go more than four times a week to eat curry what does that suggest to you and what does that suggest 89 percent go once a week there is a stale hunger for rice and curry so my brothers and sisters adapt adapt there is still a huge market out there 78 percent once a week come on All right let's go to the next question okay uh, right that's one of my videos showing down now. Okay. What type of rice do you prefer? Right. Okay. 12 voted. Basmati rice, of course. That's the only one sells in the damn restaurant. So, Basmati, 92% of Basmati. 92% of Basmati. Right. And plain boiled rice. Plain boiled rice. White rice, 8%. But let me give you a little quick idea here. So many years I spent in, in the curry house game, okay? I never ever thought in my wildest dream I should be selling things like brown rice. Never come to me. Never come to me and say I should be selling jasmine rice. Other types of rice available, we should be trying that kind of rice. Instead of our usual basmati or plain. We should start giving them other choices. Yeah, healthy. Right, basmati sometimes may come across as unhealthy or boil. Well, boil, that's what they go for boil. So give them brown rice. I probably never ever come across an Indian restaurant, a Bangladeshi restaurant that has sticky rice. Give them sticky rice. That's another idea for you. Right, let's go. All right, that's one of my viral video here. This is a uh, homemade beef burger I did recently, right? I went to just went to a Tesco, bought some of these halal burgers, right? And did a mucked about in a video at my kitchen, okay? Within four, four months, it went viral. 50,000 and so many comments anyway. I'm going off the subject. Go and check this one out, okay? Right, next one. Right, the question is chicken vindaloo or chicken pal? 16 votes. Chicken vindaloo very hot, we know this. Right, 88% said chicken vindaloo. 
chicken pal as we know extremely is extremely hot curry just chili powder and naga and all that malaki right six percent said chicken pal right now here chicken tindalu which is extremely hot full of naga chilies painful six percent all right all right, let's see what we got. Oh, it's another traditional cooking. This is a village cooking I did a couple of years back. I went back home and I did one. This got 416,000 viewers. Okay, check this one out. You may like it. These are cooking in a normal, you know, the usual traditional way. Anyway, all right, the next one is all right, your favorite Indian dish. 10 votes. Sagalu, spinach and potato, 40% voted for spinach and potato. Bombay alu, 20%. Taka dal, 10. Vegetable curry, nobody voted. Chickpeas, look, chana masala surprised me. Veggie curry surprised me, nothing, nobody. Chickpeas, for example, they just really surprised me. 30% chickpeas. And sagalu at 40%. So, which means, look, if you're not doing chana masala in your restaurant, Start doing it, my brothers and sisters. Mumbai alu is always popular, we know this. Sagalu is popular, we know this. But I was surprised in with Chana, Chana Masala. There, there we go. Right. Now, what is your favorite Indian dish? Oh, Bangladesh. I should have put it in Bangladeshi dish anyway. Of course, we know chicken tikka masala at 19%. Chicken kurma, 6%. Uh -uh, look at this. Chicken dancer. 16 people voted, by the way, chicken dancer at 25% chicken dancer, 25% chicken vindaloo, and lamb curry at 25%. All of them, look at this, take a look at this. So don't you not think you should be concentrating more on chicken dancer, lamb curry? And obviously vindaloo is popular, lamb curry is the one strikes. Kurma, look, he's dying or death. Dying slow death. Chicken tikka masala also slowly, slowly going down down the pan, okay? Because people are more adapted to spicy. These are the spicy curries we're talking about here. Look, chicken danzak, we know is sweet and sour. Vindalu is hot. Lamb korai, dry chunky meat. Some people put a bit of capsicum, green pepper on it. And it's thick, like a bonus style, okay? So there you are. Now, and that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. That is my up-to-date survey I carried out on my own channel. You know, what can I say? I've given you, brothers, something to think about, brothers and sisters, something to think about, okay? And this is the type of stuff our community leaders you know, in places like Bangla Town, Brick Lane, and all sort of places, they they, sh they should be talking about this, this type of stuff. You know, just doing surveys. How are we supposed to change this industry? No, you know, you don't get on your TV channel and bring these some curry sellers. They think they know everything. They don't know everything. You need to get out there. Have one of these channels like this. Get the Gura. You need to get the Gura people. Right? Your customers are not Bengalis or Indian. They're Gura, the white people. Okay? So get some survey done and see how you go in. Then you can change. Like this question here. This is shocking question. Look at the way the Turkish are catching up. Chinese, almost nobody voted Chinese. What does that suppose? Chinese is dying, dead. This is this is the threat, Turkish. Lebanese, I thought, I had an impression Lebanese was getting popular. No, it's the Turkish. So think about it for a second. And this question here, too many Indian restaurants. Why is it declining? Because there's too many. Why is declining? Indian food no longer seems trendy. 
cheaper alternative, not keeping up with the times, which is incredible. And look at that. Too many 30%, not keeping up with time 25%, neck and neck. So these are the two, three questions, very important question. They should look at it. And brothers and sisters, if you not into the restaurant game and you're watching this video and you have friends and relatives and families into this kind of trade, please put a link to this video. They can have a look and make their own mind up which direction they want to go. So I hope you like watching this video and I hope I've given you some thought as to um, what should we do to change the situation and with this question here it makes me I am really surprised are you aware not over 99% of Indian restaurants are owned by Bangladeshi that is really really surprising yes 89% I never thought I will get 89% telling me they know they know most of the curry houses are owned by the Bangladeshis Wow. No, okay. Only 5%. 19 votes. Surprise. 5%. So it shows me this day and age, we can start taking away the Indian name, get rid of it, and put Bangladeshi cuisine. Right? No need to advertise any more Indian. Don't ever think that you are not going to be busy because your restaurant is not called Indian restaurant. Just somebody who's starting a restaurant, just put up, just put BangladeshiCuisine.com, Bangladeshi Cuisine, just put Bangladeshi Cuisine and that's it. You do not need to put anything else. This survey showed you they know everything. The customers are well very well aware of if this question can give you yes 89% yes they know who owns those restaurants and there is no need to hang on to this Indian legacy to tell the British people oh we are from the subcontinent and we are why do we need to put our own identity now after all these years Put the identity. Be proud of yourself. That this question really put a positive smile on my face. So, thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other video. Please, please make sure you subscribe and like. And there are other channels of mine. You should go and check it out. Well, I'm here. I do have a few more other channels. Let's let's plug my channels up. Okay. Let's bring them here so you can go and check them out. Um, let's have a look with my channels. Huh? Even I'm, I'm struggling. What's happening now? Oh, there we are. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I hope you can see them, right? Okay, there we go. Okay, here we are. Now, I don't want to show you my son. One is a little boy still, okay? There is one called this one here. All right. Okay. And I just, let me show you just a name of it. So you can go and check them out. This is called, right, this is if you have a young children or kids, go and check this one out, called Color Wheel, okay? It's for kids drawing and Quranic studies, I'm slowly building this channel, okay? So go please catch this one out, right. This one, it says, all right, let me get that. He says what he says in the channel title, right? Mad money, okay? This is all about making money. 
how you make money, right? So go and check this one out. Okay, what are the other ones? There are a lot of these. Okay, and obviously you're going to watch out on this one anyway. Uh, ah, look at this. It's a lovely... I love flowers and this is my own... Uh, I grew some sh um, scarlet red marigolds, right, in a pot, uh, in a big pot in the garden. Look, beautiful photo taken by me, right? So, help me to get up to a thousand subscribers on this channel, all right? Because the cooking channel already got fifteen thousand. Look, I'm struggling on two hundred and ninety-seven. This one, and you'll be interesting if you go around the personal channel, of course, check it out. There's our lot of Bangladeshi uh, videos there and here and all sort of place, okay. Interestingly enough, this is the one you should always go and uh, check. If you have young children, you need to, you really need to get them going on this channel. This channel, okay? I just started the channel just recently. Uh, loaded a few videos and I'm wa wa waiting for more videos, okay? So if you have young ones, they will love this. I will put things like Quranic videos, drawing videos, cartoon, all sorts of stuff. So once again, thank you so much.